Hi, welcome to the series Learn Excel in 24 hours. In this video, we will understand how to construct logarithm tables by using the ln and the log functions. So, first we will make a matrix in place d4 onwards in that column, we will have the numbers 1 through 20. Row 4 we will keep for the basis. So, first we put in the headers e4 natural, f4 10, g4 5, then 15, 20, 25 and 30. For natural log, the excel function is equal to ln just like the ln function that we have on the scientific calculator, there is only one input parameter and that is the number. So, we just say equal to ln, choose the specific number for which we want the log value and that is it. We use the drag and drop function and we have the natural logs for 1 to 20 in place. For other numbers, we use the log function and this has two input parameters. The first input parameter is the number of which we want to find out the log and the second input parameter is the base to which base do we want the log calculation to be done for. So, when we use the log function for base 10, the number comes from column D, the base comes from E4 in this case, sorry F4. So, once we do that, we have equal to log, we choose the number and the base, drag and drop. So, we have that in place. We can replicate the same thing over and over again for the different bases. One thing that I want you to pay careful attention on is how the dollar signs have been used for the row and column referencing the dollar sign has been used only once, once before the alphabet and once after the alphabet. So, do have a look at that. To summarize what we are trying to do over here, for the natural log, we use the ln function and it has only one input and that is the number, just like the scientific calculator. For other numbers as bases, we use the log function and it has two input parameters first is the number itself and the second is the base. So, it is equal to log number comma base. So, do try a few permutations and combinations, so that you familiarize yourself with the same. Thank you.